Hi, welcome back. This is Debbie. I'm going to be doing a tag video that is the 40 beauty questions. I was not tagged on this video, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And the person that I saw it on was uh, Makeup, Makeup Lover USA, Sandra's channel. And she just tagged anyone in general, so I'm going to try it. Now, I have my questions here on my phone, so if I look down, that's what I'm looking at. And if I need to grab my readers, then so be it right <laughs> okay so let's get started the first set of questions is about skincare and the first question is how many times do you wash your face daily I wash my face twice um, I use the Neutrogena um, cleansing facial towelettes in the morning and then at night I use this because this takes out the makeup and exfoliates and really cleanses my skin well. It's the Ultimate Cleanser 3-Way by Garnier and it's a great product. You can use this as a facial mask too and the directions on the back are, are on the back. And as you can see I've already used like almost half of it. It's a great product. Love it. Okay, the next question is, what skin, ty skin type do you have? I have sensitive skin. Um, I also have sort of combination where I get, you know, like normal here and a little bit oily here and a little bit oily here. Maybe tiny bit oily on my nose, tiniest bit, but mostly it's sensitive. Okay, the next one is, what is your current facial wash? And that's the one I showed you here, plus the um, Neutrogena facial wipes. What moisturizer do you use? I use this one and I absolutely love it. It's the Garnier Nutri Skin Renew Radiance Moisture Cream and I'm reading that on the back. It's a great, great product. I have an aunt who, she doesn't notice things that most people notice and things that other people don't notice she does. And I saw her just yesterday and she said to me, oh, your face looks so clear and just so nice and, and it feels soft and she felt my face. Um, and I owe it all to this product because it's a really, really nice product. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, I think I skipped a couple questions, so I'll go back. Um, the next one is do you exfoliate and I do with this product and what brand do you use I use the Garnier Nutris and I use Neutrogena those seem to be the two brands that are just suited for my skin I have used um, Aveeno in the past and I don't prefer it as much as the other two uh, what moisturizer did that do you have freckles? No, I don't have any freckles um, on my face, but if I'm out in the sun, I get them on my shoulder. I can't go out in the sun anymore because I have uh, photosensitivity, which basically means I'm allergic to it. Um, because of my uh, systemic lupus, when I'm in the sun, I get very nauseous and headaches, and it's just, it's a mess. Okay, the next thing is, do you use use eye cream yes I do I use this Garnier um, what is this called ultra lift anti wrinkle firming eye cream and I use this at night because it works best for me just to use at night um, do you or did you have acne prone skin I do not have acne prone skin now as a teenager yes I did um, I tried a lot of products and nothing really worked as well as just eating good and uh, eating good eating healthy food and um, just kind of not putting so much on my skin my skin since I was very little is the type of skin that because it's so sensitive the more stuff you pr put on it and the more heavy-duty um, chemicals the worse my skin can be so uh, I just kind of had to learn to cover it up and hope that it would pass and it did. <laughs> the next is did you ever have did you ever have to use proactive or did you ever use I would say. Um, I actually did when I was in my early 30s I still was breaking out some and so I bought some and to be honest with you it is not a product for me it clogged my pores and it made my skin feel very tight and heavy and I just didn't like it at all now I know there's a lot of people that use it and it's a lifesaver for them and that's great but for me it just didn't work okay the next set of 
questions has to do with makeup. And the first one is, what foundation do you use? Okay, first of all, I want to say that I am a foundation junkie. I have tried and will probably try every foundation that has ever been made that I can get my hands on. I'm always looking for that perfect foundation. Currently, I'm using a drugstore brand, and it is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum. And this is a really nice product. I will do a review on it. Um... I don't know, in a few days or maybe a week or so because I haven't used it enough to really make, uh, a, do a good review. Okay, and then I also use the Laura Mercier, um, this is the, forget, mineral powder and my color is in real sand in case you're wondering. Sometimes I use them together, like I'll use the liquid and then I'll use this a tiny bit to sort of set it and that's what I have on my face now and sometimes I use them separately uh, let's see how about concealer oh yes I use concealer currently I'm using hard candy by um, hard candy a glam flash um, I have used the gosh I just pulled them all out um, I use this Garnier skin roller or is that called skin skin renew anti dark circle roller and it works very well um, I have used the Instant Age Rewind. I have used the MAC Studio. Is a Studio Finish Concealer. I mean, I just basically use any one that will work for me at that given time. And Sonia Kushak. I mean, I have a whole little drawer here just full of, full of them. I, I'm always trying what's new, trying to find product that will cover my circles, not go into the deep. Uh, not deep, but the, the fine lines that I have, not irritate my skin. I mean, there's a whole list of things there. Okay, and my phone just went. Okay, the next one is, do you know your undertone color? Yes, I do. I am a perfect neutral where I have the perfect combination, not perfect, but I have a combination of both yellow and um, red. So I'm both cool and warm, so I'm neutral. Um, so a lot of times makeup artists try to uh, color match me with um, cool to, um, warm tones because of the yellow in it to try to counteract the red I have in my face, but then it doesn't necessarily match the rest of my face, like my neck or the rest of my body, so I just like to go to neutral tones, and then it just matches everything. All right, da, 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 da. what do you think of fake eyelashes? I think that they're beautiful. Um, I do not wear them. I have worn them for special occasions, a couple times for Halloween. I don't own any right now, but, you know, if I had someplace special to go to and I had time, you know, and energy to put them on, I have no qualms about putting them on. They're not something that I use currently, but I have, and I think they're beautiful. Um, do you know that you're supposed to change your mascara every three months. Um, yes, I do, but to be honest with you, I don't always. You know, I'll keep it longer than three months. I mean, not years, but, you know, most of the time, to be honest with you, my mascaras dry out before they're going to get bad. So, that's what I do. Um, what brand of mascara do you use? Currently, I'm using um, Almay. Uh, they're one coat, but I actually use a couple couple three coats on and I find that's a great product for me because there's no irritation and I like the way my eyelashes look uh, let's see Sephora or Mac um, if you would have asked me a few months ago I would have said Sephora but I really am getting more into Mac products I find that their eyeshadows are just beautiful um, there's no fallout the pigmentation is great their blushes are great their lipsticks are very um, emollient, is that, yeah, emollient and, and pigmented. Uh, I just like all their products, and so I'm really getting into that. Now, it'd be hard to choose if somebody asked me, do you want a Sephora card or, a Sephora card or MAC? Because Sephora, you can get a whole array of things. But maybe now I probably would say MAC because I'm trying to build up more in my collection of MAC. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think I would, I would probably tell the person whatever you wish <laughs> because I'll use either um, do you have a Mac Pro card I do not but if anyone knows how I can get one hook a sister up because I would love one 
what makeup tools do you use in makeup application? Um, I use brushes, I use eyelash curler, and um, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see, do you use a makeup based primer for your eyes? Yes, I do. Um, I use the Soft Ochre Paint Pop by MAC. I find that that works the best for me. It cancels out the red and it kind of covers up the veininess that I have on my eyelids and it just works perfectly. I do not like the Urban Decay one. I have it and you know, in a pinch I'll use it but it's not something that I would ever purchase again. It just doesn't work for me. I think the paint pot is just perfect, so that's what I use. Um, do you use it for the face? No, I don't use a primer. Even though I live in Florida where it's very, very hot, um, I've found good ways of putting on my foundations and, you know, really um, taking care of my skin too, where I don't need to put a primer on. I feel that when I put a primer on and then I put the foundation and then if I have to put the powder, it's just so many layers. My skin feels so uncomfortable. I just, I don't like it at all. So I don't, um, let's see. And my skin's not necessarily that oily, so I don't need to do that. Uh, let's see. I lost, I lost my, uh, my point, um, place here. Uh, Okay, what is your favorite eyeshadow? Currently, I love MAC eyeshadows. I'm really getting into them. I also love the Makeup Artist Academy MUA that you can get over in um, in the UK. And I love Urban Decay. I want to try some of their new ones. Uh, they're supposed to be fantastic. So those are brands I like. Do you use a pencil or liquid eyeliner? Um, I use a pencil or gel eyeliner. I do not like the liquids at all for myself. And if you can just bear with me for a minute, I just need to take a sip of my water. I'm sorry, I know like, like it looks like it looks it looks bad when people do that, but my mouth gets so dry, so forgive me. Okay, the next one is how often do you poke your eyes with the eyeliner pencil? Um, that's kind of a weird question because it sounds like you actually trying to poke your eye and who would do that? Um, so I guess my answer is never and I probably hardly ever have done that. I've really sort of mastered keeping my hands still and if I'm feeling sick or my hands a little more weak than normal then I just don't use eyeliner. So. I'm not going to take a chance to poke my eye. Uh, what do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I think that they're really beautiful. I would like to try some. I don't have any in my collection and I've never tried them. But I've seen some looks on YouTube and then in, in real life on people and they're just beautiful. Do you use mineral makeup? The only one that I currently use is the Laura Mercier powder and I find that that is the best for me. Um, I have in the past used the um, Bare Essentials and there is a product in there that makes my face itch. I think it's the Bismuth or something like that. And this doesn't irritate so this is really the only thing that I use that's mineral. Uh, what is your favorite lipstick? That's hard to say. I mean, I think if I had to pick of all time, um, I have a Garlon one, and this is when this little puppy first came out, and it's one of those that opens up. It's, it reminds me of like a spy, and I don't have much left, but I'm just kind of saving it. I love this. My sister-in-law actually sent it to me when she was working in the makeup industry and it's just, so, it's heavy as heck, but it's just so beautiful. I love the packaging and I know that I can go out and buy another one, but I sort of keep this one for sentimental reasons because she sent it to me and I really love the consistency. So this is one of my favorites and I also love MAC lipsticks. I think they're beautiful and Maybelline has some really nice shades that are just creamy pigmented just beautiful and I like the Revlon lip butters too so I like most lipsticks uh, I, um, most of them I don't think there's a brand that I have that I or that I've tried that I don't like okay uh, how about lip gloss mm, I like a lot of different lip glosses um, the one I have on now by Milani which is the 3d reach right here the 3d glitzy glam I think it's called and it's in the little bottle like this. Uh, 
Um, I love the, uh, excuse me, Revlon makes some really nice ones. Um, there's one by Chanel that I really like. This one here by Chanel. I don't know if it's a Glossomer. I think it is. But that, that's a real nice lip gloss. Um, um, NYX makes a nice lip gloss. I like that. Um, so there's quite a few that I'd like. Um, to pick like one, I couldn't because I have a lot and I like them all. So uh, let's see. What is your favorite blush to use? I love to use the MAC blushes and I love to use the Amazonian clay and I have a sleek one that is very pretty too um, it's a little dark so I have to kind of go very light handed but it's just beautiful I love that um, let's see do you buy your makeup on eBay no I don't um, I'm always afraid that I'm going to get a, a knockoff of makeup and to be honest with you I know it's like a big deal. Um, I currently buy like the real designer handbags um, and if I can't afford it I just don't get it but um, back like when I was in my 20s and stuff and, and I couldn't afford it you know I bought a couple of the knockoff handbags and the knockoffs for handbags I feel like it's okay you know it's not something I do every day but it's okay but like something that I'm gonna put on my face I'm going to want it from the company because I don't know what other, you know, some company is going to make this and think that it has all the ingredients that this does and it doesn't and it's going to, you know, I'm going to have an allergic reaction or something. So, no, I do not buy makeup on eBay. Um, I have bought it on Amazon, but it, I bought it from retailers that I know that they're selling the real product. Okay, do you like drugstore makeup? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I love makeup, all kinds, high-end, drugstore. I find in the last, I would say, two to three years, drugstores have really been kicking it up when it comes to the quality of products that they are selling. And the, the companies like L'Oreal Paris and... Maybelline and all the other ones, they're really, really stepping it up and trying to bring really nice products to people that, you know, you can't say can't afford because there's a lot of people, like, no offense to anyone, I can afford to go buy, you know, like a Chanel lipstick, but maybe I want to go to CVS and buy a beautiful Maybelline and I'm going to get like three of them or something, you know, so it's not necessarily the, that you can afford it, it's just that they're just nicer qualities so that was a long answer to that question but it's the truth okay um do you go to ccos um yes i do um in fact i just went to one on saturday just really briefly um i love the ccos the only thing that i have to say is that it has become a hit or miss with um mac products and I believe it's because of YouTube, because the word is getting out more that, hey, you can go and you can buy these products at a discounted rate. Like, I bought an eyeshadow, oh, I don't know which, I can't remember which one it was. Um, one of my eyeshadows, I can't remember, from MAC is something that is currently out, and you can buy it at the MAC store or online, and what they're like, $14.00. I paid $11 at the CCO. Now that might have been a mistake because a lot of them are discontinued or limited edition, but it's still, um, I don't know, I'm making this a long thing. I like the CCOs and I'm enjoying them a lot. Um, for those of you that don't know, like I didn't, when I went to CCO and I saw the things on the counter, I thought that was the actual product that I was buying. So sometimes I was turned off to see like a lipstick or something that looked like somebody really dug into it. And I didn't even think that, no, you go to the counter and you ask the lady, you know, I would like this and she gets it from behind the counter. So if you don't know that about CCOs, that's how they work. So, and I don't know why I didn't know that. That was just, uh, I don't know. Okay, do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Um, to be honest with you, I think that I learn a lot from YouTube, but it would be fun to take a makeup class. I don't think I would like to, you know, become a makeup artist. Uh, I just, at this point in my life, it's not something that I can do because of health reasons. But to maybe take one or two 
classes from somebody that's like really good or famous or something that would be pretty neat um, let's see are you clumsy in putting on makeup not anymore um maybe when I was very young but I, I, I sort of learned fast how to put on makeup uh, I guess the only thing that I probably did but this is kind of like to the next question so I'll save it um, name a makeup crime that you hate I hate when people put on tons of foundation now foundation is great I love it believe me but when you put four layers of foundation on it's just so ridiculous it's so cakey it looks so artificial and not that I look like totally natural now but you could just tell I mean, it, too much foundation just looks terrible on anyone and I think that and I don't want to offend anybody that's young but the worst crime for me is to see a young girl or a boy that they have such a beautiful skin and they pile on the foundation and it's you know if you want to wear a foundation put that little bit and blend it in and it'll look pretty you don't need layers and layers so that's probably the worst makeup crime besides not washing your face or taking off the makeup at the end of the day um, the next one is and also I used to be guilty of that I don't think I put on four layers but I would put on too much foundation thinking that that was making my skin look better and it really wasn't okay uh, let's see do you like colorful shades of makeup or neutral ones to be honest with you I love colorful shades I think that they just brighten the face up um, for me what I'm going through currently in my life if I put on a beautiful turquoise shadow or beautiful purple it really does lifts my spirits so yes definitely bright now I'm not gonna look like Mimi from um, the Drew Carey show for those of you that remember that show but I do like bright colors okay um, which celebrity always has great makeup I think a lot of them do um, I know like Natalie Portman always looks just so put together um, Zoe Deschanel looks beautiful all the time um, Halle Berry I mean she's just gorgeous uh, so many of them have beautiful makeup artists um, I know a lot, a lot of people like these people but the Kardashians they always do look beautiful with their makeup so there's a lot of people out there that really um, really if they don't put it on their makeup artists do a great great job uh, let's see have you oh if you could leave the house using just one makeup item what would you use I would probably use a nice lipstick because a lipstick just perks me up and makes me look more awake and that that's it <laughs> um, let's see I know I keep saying um and I'm so sorry about that uh, let's see could you ever leave the house without any makeup on yeah I have before it's not something I'd like to do but you know if you're gonna go get some milk or something at the store run to the store whatever yeah I have and and there's certain uh, doctors that I see that they want to see my skin to make sure that you know it's not my lupus isn't making it you know look not look too bad but not uh, I'm so sorry there are certain doctors I see, such as the doctor that I see for my lupus, that likes me to go with a fresh face so she can see how bad my rash is and if there's any other marks that I'm getting from my lupus. There we go. But other, if I had a choice, I would wear makeup. Um, <laughs> do you think you look good even without any makeup on? You know, I used to not think so, but then I looked at pictures of myself that like somebody would snap of me without makeup, and I really don't look that bad. I think maybe I look a little tired, um, but I don't look horrible, like I'm not going to scare anybody, <laughs> but um, so I guess I look okay without makeup. Um, in your opinion, what is the best makeup line? That's really hard. Uh, I think every brand that's out there has at least one, two, three, four things that is great. So I can't really answer that question. Okay, and then 
Oh, the last one. That was the last one. So uh, I thank you for sitting by me and um, listening to this rather long tag. I'm sorry that I kind of went into it too much with things. Um, I tag all of you to do it. And I think I'm going to tag Susie Joey 1, Kristen Game, and Glow My Way. And I'm going to tag you three specifically. And if you have done it already, I'm so sorry. Uh, just answer me in a video response. And then the rest of you, I tag you too. <laughs> so have a great day. And thanks for um, stopping by. And I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.